we need to talk about some technical tips. And here's the thing that I would say when you start looking at indices from a technical analysis perspective, they have a very unique characteristic. Typically, indices rise gradually and they fall quickly. They rise gradually, they fall quickly. And over the long period of time, they typically move higher. Now, this could be very long term. It could take 10 years for a market to recover back to its previous all time high. But generally speaking, companies grow, populations of the world grow, GDPs grow. I mean, this leads to company growth. And so they typically do rise over time. But you also have to accept that if you're gonna be trading indices, watch out for these periods of time where you get steep drops. And if you're short or able to take uh, your position off before these moves, that can be very, very uh, key to performing well overall when trading the indices. From a technical perspective, what I find to be very useful on the long or short side is simple moving averages. I know this sounds really, really simple, but if we take a look at this moving average here and we just change this really quick to a 20 period, for example, we're looking at the daily chart. I find this to be a very useful indicator. What you'll notice is that typically the market here is respecting moving averages for the most part. And typically when you see these trends uh, develop, they can last for a very long time. Now, now, when that pattern breaks down, you can see like right here, you can see some really nasty and steep drops like we saw in 2022. Now, my point with showing you this is a simple trend filter can be very useful for spotting breakouts to the upside or to the downside. And uh, again, a simple moving average is a useful tool uh, by all means. Now, on top of this, another really simple indicator that we could use is good old fashioned support and resistance. What we find on the indices, especially when they are trending higher, is that they typically respect very much key levels of support and resistance. So if I just go here and I show you just some levels here, what you can see is that oftentimes when we put in a resistance level, then break out, when we retest those areas, these can be great dip buying opportunities if you have a good reason to be long uh, an index. So again, we see this happen time and time again, where you get these big breaks, big pullbacks, and even times where later on they will respect these areas very nicely. So uh, what I find is structure is very key when looking at the technical analysis uh, side of things for indices. The last, time, uh, last thing I'll say when when trading them is that oftentimes a breakout of the all time high causes people to get really nervous. But if you actually look at the studies, historically a breakout of the all time high after a period of drawdown, it's usually a very bullish signal. And so generally speaking, I like to try and not try and time the tops, but if I'm gonna be bearish on the indices, wait for that move to start and uh, you know kind of follow along with the trend, whether it be up or down.